Skylum just announced the expansion of their mobile photo editing application. The new Luminar Mobile will now be available on iPhones, iPads and Vision Pro devices. All of this under the same subscription will give you access to your favorite Luminar Neo tools and you will be able to edit your photos on the go from anywhere. So join me for this tutorial as we look at closely at the iPhone version of this application. Ok, so before we move into the application, let's start by going through some of the most important information. So first of all, the Luminar 4 iPad will now be called Luminar Mobile and it will be available for iPad, iPhone and Apple Vision Pro devices. As such, the Luminar mobile app will share the same subscription for all three devices. An important information here is that the current Luminar 4 iPad users will receive a free update to Luminar mobile. Moving to the Luminar mobile for iPhone, it will include all the same tools as the iPad version including some of the favorite AI tools like Enhance AI, Sky AI, Structure AI, Relight AI and more. With this new release, the Luminar Mobile will get a new update, which will include two new portrait tools, Skin AI and Body AI. One more time, the current Luminar 4 iPad users will get the free access to the application on iPad iPhone and Vision Pro with their current subscription. Now moving on to the subscription plans for the Luminar Mobile. There are three plans available with one month subscription, six month subscription and one year annual subscription which comes with a seven day free trial. To get the Luminar Mobile on your iPhone, you can download it from the App Store using the link in the description of this video. And when it comes to the version of your iPhone, you will need a device with iOS 17 and newer. Some of the older devices may work, but you may see restrictions on some of the more advanced features like Erase, Sky AI and Relight AI tools. And finally, when we're talking about the supported images files, they are same as for Apple Photos and they include JPEGs, PNGs, TIFFs, DNGs, PSDs and much more. Ok, so moving into the application, the first window you're going to see is the photo gallery. The photo gallery is fully integrated with Apple Photos, so it looks pretty much the same. Here you have options to go through your photos and you can also go into the albums where you can go deeper into your image folders. Now coming back to the photos, let's go ahead and select one by tapping on it and then we can move the image into the editing module. Now the editing module has the preview of the image on the top, then the controllers and then the main toolbar at the bottom. Now starting from the left, there is the crop option and when you tap on it, you will enter the crop window. Here you can adjust the crop using the little handles or you can also rotate it using the little wheel at the bottom. You can also align and adjust the crop further and once you're happy, you can tap on the check button or you can tap on the cross and select discard changes. Coming back to our bottom toolbar, the next option is the erase tool. Again, when we tap on it, it will open a new window and here you can pinch in on your image to zoom in. Then you can adjust the size of your brush using the slider at the bottom and then you can very easily just brush over the area you want to erase. Once happy, again just tap on the check button and continue with the edit. The middle button will give you access to the main editing toolbar. So moving on, the next option is the Sky AI tool, which will allow us to replace the sky on our image. Now coming back to our image, if we double tap on it, it will fit back to the screen and looking at it, it doesn't have any sky. So we will return to the Sky AI tool a little bit later. To finish the bottom toolbar, the last option gives you access to the photo filters. Here you can scroll through the different filters and when you like one, you can just tap on it and apply it to your 
image. Once you select a filter, you can then use the wheel on the top to adjust the strength of the effect and see what you prefer. Now, just like with all the controllers in the application, you can double tap on it to reset it to zero or its original value. And then you can tap on the actual filter to switch it off. So that's the bottom toolbar. Now let's select the middle option and let's go into the main editing toolbar. Now, quite quickly, let's just go through the different tools available in the application. The first tool is the Enhanced AI, which is very well known to the Luminar users. Basically, this tool allows you to very quickly enhance your image. You can go really crazy and increase it to almost 100% or go easier and then continue with the edit. Just to double confirm, double tap on the tool will reset it. Moving on, in the next option, you can adjust your brightness, highlights, shadows, blacks and whites. In the next tool, you can adjust your contrast. And after that, the next tool will give you the opportunity to adjust a color or white balance of the image. With the first slider, you can add warmth or coolness to your image. And with the second slider, you can add magenta or green tint into your photo. Let's go ahead and keep moving forward. Next option will allow you to adjust the saturation and vibrance. And after that, we also have a possibility to add or remove vignette. So when we take the slider and move it towards the right, we will add a white vignette to the image and moving it towards left, will add a dark vignette to the corners of the photo. Again, double tap will reset it. Now moving forward, next option is the Structure AI. With the Structure AI, you can add clarity and details to your image, or you can remove them by taking the slider and moving it in the other direction. So that was the Structure AI. Now moving forward, the next option is the Relight AI. The Relight AI allow us to adjust the brightness of the front and back of our image. What the application does, it scans the image and it creates a 3D mask selecting the subjects in the front and back of the photo. So in this example, what we can do, we can take the slider for the far, which is the background, and make it darker. And we can take the slider for the near and basically make the subject or the model brighter. Additionally, you can also adjust the depth of the mask depending on your image. Again, let's reset the image. And let's move on the new portrait tools. Now with the new version of the Luminar Mobile, again available for iPad, iPhone and Vision Pro, you are able to apply further portrait adjustments. With the first slider, you can apply nice skin enhancement. You can also remove blemishes using the switch and you can apply a little bit of a shine removal using the third controller in this tool. Moving on in the next tool, which is called Body AI, you can adjust the shape of the body depending on your model. You can make someone appear slimmer or a little wider using the shape slider. And you can also adjust the abdomen using the slider at the bottom of this tool. Now to continue describing the tools, I have changed the image into this beautiful capture of the cathedral with the sunset. So moving on to the next tool, this is called Landscape Tools. Here you can use and adjust the golden hour feel of your image with the first option. And you can also enhance the foliage using the Foliage Enhancer slider. Finally, the option at the bottom allows you to add a fog to your image or apply dehaze to the overall photo. Moving forward, we have the curves where you can adjust the white, red, green and blue curves using the traditional method of editing by adjusting your highlights and shadows. Now we have two more tools. The next option is the details tool where you can adjust the small, medium and large details and also apply some further sharpening using the sharpening slider. The last tool in our main toolbar is called Monochrome and what it does, it allows you to turn your image into black and white and then select a specific color on your photo, like for example a blue, and make it 50% darker. It will take the 
amount of the luminance for that specific color and it will bring it down. So you can play around with it and see what works the best for your photo. Now we are finished with the main editing toolbar. So let's go ahead and move into the Sky AI. In a Sky AI tool, as I already mentioned, we can replace sky on other images. All you need to do is to tap on one of the available skies and then the application will scan the image and replace the sky. Obviously, you would want to replace the sky with something a little bit closer to the actual image. So in this case, we can, let's say, go for something closer, like a warm sky or maybe sky with the sun in it. If none of the skies available works for you, what you can do, you can add your own sky. To do that, you can go to the end of the list, tap on the little icon with a plus sign on it, and then navigate towards the location with the new sky. Here, tap on the sky, and then select it in your list again. With the sky selected, you can tap on the adjust button on the top of the sky, and here you can adjust the position of the sky, you can also flip it around and you can make even further adjustments. What you can do, you can slide at the bottom here and adjust the mask, or you can slide even further and adjust the brightness, warmth, and also the softness of the sky. Once you finish with the adjustments, you just slide down and then continue with your edit. For this specific image, what you can do, you can tap on the photo filters, apply one of them, for example, the Gloria or Sina. And once really finished with the edit, all you need to do is to tap on share and then choose between save to photos or share to share your image with the rest of the world. And just like that, we are finished with today's tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you have any questions, make sure that you write them in the comment section under this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future content. One more time, my name was Jacob Bors. I was your guide on today's Luminar Neo tutorial and I absolutely can't wait to see you in the next one.